some time ago uh, one of our friends gave us some rabbits, got four rabbits from them and they've been in the freezer for a while now uh, but I need the space I need the space because uh, we've got four, sorry, three lambs going off to slaughter soon so um, we urgently need this space uh, in the freezers uh, for them. So uh, here's um, one of the rabbits and we're going to use all four of the rabbits to make a rabbit pie. Right, in the pan there are now four rabbits and I'm adding in some chopped leek stalks and some carrots and this is the water that we boiled up some vegetables in for dinner tonight so don't waste it it's full of nutrients so add that to the stock as well and we'll cover that with water and fresh from the herb garden some bay leaves and some thyme Right, the part about the leek stalks is that uh, they're from uh, leeks that have bolted so they've grown a great long woody stalk on them which you can't really eat directly but you can still extract the flavour from them uh, by uh, chopping them up and, and boiling them which is what we're doing here. It's now come up to the boil so we'll turn that down and let it simmer for about 90 minutes. 90 minutes of simmering is now up so I've taken the heat off and this will be left to stand overnight and it'll be nice and cool in the morning ready to strip the carcasses. So last night I boiled up the rabbits, uh, left them to simmer for about 90 minutes and this morning I stripped the meat off the carcasses and chopped up some of the meat and it's gone into this pie dish here, which is already lined with short crust pastry. We've got loads and loads of other meat to use up as well, so they'll go into other pies or curries and so on. Uh, so, next job is to chop up some leeks, and we're going to add them in as well. We have absolutely loads and loads of leeks at the moment, and they all need using up. So, there we are. I've added a bit more meat to it and another leek because I didn't want to be stingy on the on the filling. So the next issue is are we going to have gravy in this or white sauce? Well tonight we're opting for the white sauce. To make the white sauce put some milk into a pan and put a gentle heat underneath it. So. There we go, and then add some flour. And I'm just going to let this heat up, but we'll keep it, keep stirring it, whisking it uh, until it thickens. I have added a bit of ground black pepper to the sauce. Still on the pan, still cooking away behind me. Now, um, the more observant among you might have noticed I've had a shave, but also um, <laughs> I was uh, clipping the hooves of one of my goats uh, this morning and uh, got a bit careless. So, um, yeah, right. Anyway, right, so we're just waiting now for the sauce to come up to heat. The sauce is thickening up quite well. Uh, so I'm going to take the heat off and just move it off the heat for a moment. And I've got here some water that we boiled some potatoes in yesterday. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the sauce. I don't want it too thick, I don't want it like concrete. I'll just add a little bit of this in. And that is pretty much ready to go onto the pie. Oh, 
final job to do is to, and this is always the bit I get wrong, but uh, to put the topping on the hay. So pastry topping in there, and I'll just cut the surplus off. So there is the pie ready to go into the oven uh, at 180 degrees centigrade, uh, preheated of course. Uh, as you can see, I've glazed the top of it. Um, we have a load of duck eggs that need using up, so uh, one of them has been used for the glaze. Right, so into the oven, 180 degrees uh, for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Last night, after I put the pie in the oven, I uh, went over to check on our goats and also lock up the hen houses. And we found that one of our baby goats was in a lot of distress and we couldn't work out why. Uh, so we therefore decided she had to go to the vet and she was checked out. Um, still couldn't really identify what was wrong with her there. But uh, she's fine now, absolutely fine. She had a very comfortable night and she's back with the goats now. Uh, but the thing was, um, when we... Um, when all this happened, uh, I just didn't have a chance to film taking the pie out of the oven. So here it is. Obviously it's now a cold pie rather than a hot pie. But uh, we decided we weren't going to have any uh, dinner last night because we were just too tired. Uh, so uh, this has been left to today. Moment of truth time. Yeah, yeah. My one fear about this was the sauce, because I was thinking maybe we should add a bit of salt to it, because normally I avoid adding salt to, to food. But actually, I didn't really need it, so it's fine. It's good.